Hey everyone, it's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a process video, the first process video of 2023. Feels really weird to say that. I'm actually recording this voiceover in 2022. So good job me for being ahead of the game and having all of this stuff pre-scheduled so that I can enjoy the holidays and not worry about um, trying to get scrapbook content out for you. I did it all in advance. So yeah, um, I hope that that means that 2023 is going to be uh, and also a productive scrapbook year, I guess, or that I'll at least be a little more organized or get caught up or I don't know. Um, but yeah, as I'm, as I am you know, looking through all of my scrapbook stuff, I'm like, what I need, I need to focus more on um, purchasing embellishments. I always need more embellishments, not necessarily like I love paper, but I do have quite a bit of paper in my stash and there are ways to, you know, use leftover scraps of paper to create a 12 by 12 size paper. I've Frankensteined paper before and created a full size page. So I feel like I should do more of that, but definitely I need to buy more embellishments because I'm always like, I, I, I feel, feel like I have none, especially when I'm doing, um, videos or layouts that are kind of like just general, um, kind of like this one, although this is using the Simple Stories Good Stuff collection, which was their, I don't know how to describe it, um, their, their year collection that they, that was from last year, but they, they do one every year. Um, I don't know if there is a 2023 one yet. I'm sure there is, um, but I need to look into that obviously, because I like using these for my monthly po um, pocket pages. So normally there's a whole collection of 12 by 12 pattern papers and each one is a month. All right. So the January papers I used for my January pocket page, February papers I used for my February pocket page, but I don't always use the full 12 by 12 piece of paper because I'm doing pocket pages. So I'm cutting it up. I sometimes have pieces that are left over. Um, and then I also had someone send me some of their leftover, um, simple stories, good stuff collection to play along with. And so I'm like, you know what? I can take some of these leftover pieces um, and and create uh, the, its own layout. So that's what I'm gonna try to do here. Um, obviously I've got a sticker up there that says July. Uh, these photos were taken in July. They are photos that were supposed to be part of the pocket page for July, but um, I just, I had too many photos. So I had to take some out. And so these two, because they were kind of similar, my kid eating popsicles, um, I thought, you know what, I can put these together and make them into their own layout. And I also separated out three playground photos that were supposed to be part of the pocket page for July. And I'm like, well, here we go. I can, I can put these together because they're all kind of the same theme. So those are going to get their own layout. So stay tuned. I don't know if I'm going to do a process video for those, but obviously I'm going to have process videos every Tuesday. So if you're subscribed and you've rung that notification bell, you will be notified of when those process videos go live. And if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe this is your first time coming to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope that you like it enough that you give it a thumbs up and that you hit that subscribe button as well. All right. I am actually using a different type of adhesive than normally. Um, it's an, one of the Elmer's glue roll on thingies. I got it at Walmart. Um, I wanted to get the double-sided adhesive squares, but Walmart actually didn't have any. Um, not that Target does either. Target, if I go to Target, I'm going to get the double-sided scotch tape. Um, but Walmart didn't even have that. It was really strange. They didn't, I, maybe I wasn't looking in the right spot, but I was, I could see packing tape and mailing tape, but I didn't see just regular tape. <laughs> so um, in their craft section, they had these Elmer's glue roll-ons. So I got one of those and then a, um, a two pack refill pack thing. And I should really just keep this around because even if I get more adhesive squares, uh, this little thing is really easy to just go buy a refill for and then I could reuse it uh, depending on you know what store I'm able to get to. Cause I think probably Target sells those too. I mean, you can get them at Michael's probably. Actually, you probably can't cause everything at Michael's is Michael's brand and it's really annoying. Um, Anyway, although they do have the Scotch brand adhesive squares, but they have the Recollections brand adhesive squares too. Um, anyway, uh, you don't care. You're like, Come, please tell me about this layout. Okay, so while I was telling you about the layout, sort of, I was telling you about the um, adhesive that I was using. Let me know in the comments what you guys prefer for adhesive. I know a lot of people are like, 
the ATG, that it, automatic tape gun. I don't really like that. I tried using it once, didn't, didn't really do it for me, um, but maybe you use something different. So let me know what that is in the comments. All right, so I'm taking a lot of um, the some of the extra embellishments. So I bought like every embellishment that was part of this collection. So I don't mind using some of the embellishments on this one-off layout because I know I'm gonna still have a whole lot to put on the rest of the pocket pages that I am doing for the rest of 2022. I think I have to do August, September, October, November, and December. So I'm five months behind on that, but that's okay because then I'm also five months behind on the photos. So focus right now is just to get um, to get through like the summer months, those photos, and then I still need to print September, October, November, and December. And then obviously also on the docket for this year is 2022 December daily. Um, I, I have kind of a plan. I'm still formulating it in my head of what I want it to be and what I want it to look like. So I have a couple of things that I need to purchase for that. Um, but if you're interested in knowing more about December Daily, let me know in the comments because I think I might do like a, a live scrap where once I get all my stuff together, um, I'll kind of like go through for like an hour um, of, of putting some of those pages together. So if that's something you'd be interested in or if you just want to scrap along with me and, and chat in the chat, that would be cool too. So let me know um, if you want to do that sometime and I'll try to get my act together and get all my stuff together and um, and make it happen. So basically because these are popsicle pictures, um, I used some, an ice cream sticker. Um, this is a very summery, I, I feel like the colors of good stuff are very, have a very summery feel, even though they're supposed to, to go through like, January through December. Um, but I, I like that they're, they're just bright colors and they're just perfect for like I said, summertime photos. So I've matted each individual photo. I cut them down a little bit and I matted them on a four by six um, cut apart, the pattern paper side, not the um, like cut apart design side. And then um, I stuck those kind of together and I've got another piece of pattern paper that I cut into a banner going behind them. And then there's a piece of polka dot pattern paper that's a little bit bigger, a little bit longer than the photos. And that's also going behind as well. And then the doodle, the, the um, green pattern paper that's the background is actually a doodle bug. Uh, no, I think it's, mm, yeah, it's a doodle bug. Um, and so then I put a 12 by 12 pattern paper strip or not a 12 by 12 pattern paper strip, a 12 inch by, I don't know, maybe it's three inch. Um, the backside had cut aparts on it. Um, but I just put the hearts, the heart side on top of the doodle bug paper. Um, and that really started like the layering from there. So you've got hearts, you've got circles, you've got, I think those are plus signs. And then I took one of the branding strip um, patterns. They don't go all the way across. I'm still going to complain about it. And then I kind of stuck that out from behind the pictures and then put the, the July on there. Um, it's kind of part of the title, but then I'm, I'm really going to use, make a different title. I don't think I've done that yet. I'm trying to trying to pay attention to what I'm doing, but also like pay attention to, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. Um, just making a little bit of a, a thing down there at the bottom because um, I, I like to work along diagonal lines. So I'm kind of going from like the top right down to the middle left and then back down to the bottom right. Almost like I'm making a triangle. Uh, rule of threes, people, rule of threes. And I've got um, another cut apart up there at the top with the rainbow. And then I put a chipboard sticker on top of that. Um, I did a little bit, uh, I cut a cut apart or I cut an embellishment um, and added that to the top of the photos as well. I'm covering the photos because I'm going to do a little bit of splattering. I even added in a couple um, gem stickers and enamel, you know, the enamel dot type thing. The gem stickers I think were hmm, doodle bug. And then the pink ones I got from Dollar Tree. So you can find some some interesting some interesting scrapbook embellishments at Dollar Tree as well, um, and that's kind of gonna be it. The title for this um, oh here's here's what happened. Now I remember. Um, so I did the splattering, and then I was like, you know what? I don't want it to just say July. I feel like there needs to be an actual title. So now I'm, after I've done the splattering, I have to very carefully add my alpha stickers, which I wouldn't recommend doing this. Please learn from me. The splatters always go at the end or maybe like just for, you know, let it dry first and then come back and do the title. But I was like, no, no, I need to get this finished. I need to get this photographed and get this video done. So I didn't wait for the splatters to dry. I just stuck down the letters right on top. 
you know, whatever works for you, but just know that if you're going to do that, just be really careful that you don't smudge the splatters. And I think I did okay. So the title is Eyes Eyes Baby because she's got popsicles. One of them we made. Um, I had a plan to make like a different popsicle every week and that didn't happen. We made one popsicle recipe the whole summer. And then the other one is a rocket pop that she got from school. Um, they had a summer reading program. And if you finished your reading log every month, you got to go to the school and get a rocket pop reward. So that was kind of fun. So here are the close-ups. You can see things in a little bit more detail. Not a whole lot of dimension, but there is a lot of layering going on. So I hope that this was inspiring to you guys and it gets you ready to scrapbook in 2023. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.